coming up in this extended ratting extravaganza, I take the Hike Micro Alpex scope and Condor combo to meet up with my good friend Dwayne, accompanied by Chris, for a spot of rat splatting. Yep. It's bitterly cold, which means there are rats aplenty, with some nifty shooting if I do say so myself. Helped by the farm's residents during pickup time in more ways than I would require, you'll see what I mean. This is Epic Ratting, and this is Team Foxer. Robin just nearly got mounted by that cow. <laughs> well, hey guys, and thank you very much for tuning in. I'll apologise in advance for the audio. My microphone that I usually have on is packed up, and it's very windy outside, so the weather vane's on the roof doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Some of you uh, may have noticed I've got a new addition in the man cave. So this is Steve, the stuffed fox. Steve was given his name by Chris and Little Jack on the Keeper's last shoot. Um, so his name may be temporary. If any of you can come up with a slightly better name, then please let me know in the comments section below. I'm very much uh, open to suggestions and all ears on that front. But for now, Steve will be keeping an eye on proceedings here in the Man Cave. In this video, myself and Dwayne have been out on rat patrol, both using the Air Arms S510 and both topped off with the Alpex Day Night Scope. Incidentally, some of you may have heard the news that Alpex um, has a newer version on the horizon. So in January, uh, this will be superseded by a new Alpex 4K with a host of features, and I'm very much looking forward to getting my hands on one of those and bringing you some footage. I have also, in the last week or two, been out on squirrel patrol, so I've got another video in the making as soon as I get my editing head on uh, and I'll be bringing you that as soon as possible. All that's left for me to say is I want to wish you a sincere, uh, very Merry Christmas to you and your families. Thank you also for the support that you've shown me over the last 12 months and if you've enjoyed it then I hope to see you again in 2024. Uh, for those of you that entered the uh, competition to win an O-Light a few weeks ago on the, on the thermal ratting session that we had actually at this same permission, uh, then I'll be announcing the winner of this during this video. Take care, stay safe, and as always, happy shooting. I nearly forgot what I was meant to say then. It's not like I've been doing it long, is it? Arriving at this relatively local permission before the Lone Ranger and Chris arrived, I couldn't drive into the yard as there was a tractor in the way, so I thought I'd have a little look with the camcorder, as the man himself then called to let me know he'd be here in just a short few. Alright buddy, mate I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rats all in that corner where the bread bin is. Yeah, there's a f***ing load in that corner. Absolute load. Yeah, there's plen plenty here. Yeah, alright, well I'll move this tractor and then I'll um, get sighted in. Zeroing the Alpex is super easy. Take one shot at the target, then freeze frame the picture. Move the crosshairs to where the projectile struck, and in this case you can see it was low and slightly to the right. Then save the new aim point, exit, and repeat. There is yeah, pretty yeah. much bang on, I just needed to come down probably another two clicks, and we're good to go. Considering myself and Dwayne had shot here just a few weeks ago, I did a thermal ratting video filmed at this very location where we shot 70. It was really quite surprising to see so many. That said, it is so cold, I just think these rats are out after an easy meal. It wasn't just me that got off to a flying start here is some of Dwayne's footage. He's using the circle uh, crosshair whilst I'm using the red cross. As you'll see at the end, these particular bales would prove very fruitful throughout the evening. I 
I always like it when you've just shot a rat and then his mate comes along to see what happened. Well, this is what happened. Because I've got a frozen end. Look, it's, yeah. it's that f cold. It's actually frozen. You have to give it silk and get the ice off it. <laughs> Show me how it's done, Chris. <laughs> I mean, I'm not used to all that jazz. No. Practically married me. Yeah, that's no good for you, that end. Just stop for a refill. I'll just top mine up, and Robin's topping his up. <clears throat> it's going well so far. Um, the boys are just getting set back up again and uh, we'll go for round two. Ding ding! Before we get stuck back into the scaly tails, I'll quickly announce the winner of the Olight diffuser torch I put up for grabs during our last visit to this farm. And the winner is David Reynolds 1229. I'll be in contact directly with you to arrange to get your prize sent out as soon as possible. Have a great Christmas, David. Meanwhile, back on the farm. back over to me and using the rangefinder on the condor I know exactly how far the next rat is. I can make the necessary adjustments to calculate holdover or under and also using the Primos trigger sticks I can swiftly adjust my position to get a better angle on those tricky little critters who like to hide behind numerous obstacles that come with this type of shooting environment. Brilliant. Come back in. He's down to us. He's out again, look. Oh. Doony fog. An acrobat. Bosh. Oh, I knew I was empty. Just sticking with the target there for a second, waiting for the confirmation wriggle. Yep, it's a kill. We'll add that one to the clicker. Oh, you dick. Oh. That's, well, one definite, the other one I've hit it and it, but it ran, I don't think it'll make it far, but I've just absolutely threaded the needle and pinned one. This rat here gave it a matrix star turn just at the right, well, wrong second for me. <laughs> you can just see here I was nicely lined up for a kill shot and he just turned just as I squeezed the trigger. The pellet was tracking very true, that said, so lovely and accurate this setup. Hey. Having seemingly missed two on the bounce, it put a little bit of doubt in my mind. So, uh, a top tip here is you can find a piece of wood like this post, take a shot, and just check. This Ooh, confirms to me well, no, nope, the right rifle's there. still absolutely bang on. I'll just take that post and look at it. Bob on wheels, ain't it? I'll tell you what it was. I did. I hold. I put some hold over on it because it was close. Yeah. So uh, I, put, I aimed right at the top of his head there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you were underneath that old donkey. Well, you was on that when it was on that trough, wasn't you? Cause yeah. You jumped up in the air.
you might hear Chris or Dwayne asking me in the background how many it was to add to the clicker as we were counting all of the rats shot this evening. That was actually the one I just shot. It just came out with one eye, so I thought I'd better finish him off. Talking about threading the needle, Dwayne loves a challenging shot. Just check out some of these that he took. An absolute belter and if you thought that one was a tight gap a few down there now could see through the thermal at some of the contrasting heat signatures from rats that were shot almost an hour ago still giving off a decent heat signature though which does help when picking up yep yep <coughs> No, I'm just giving him a second shot because I didn't think he looked like he was uh, brown brown. <laughs> like I said, many obstacles create well, a little bit of frustration at times, so you've got to take your opportunities when they arise. <laughs> Beat the drum. Yep. Yeah, he's down. Yep. Yep. I kept saying yep because Chris, who was spotting for Dwayne, was keeping count on the clicker for us and we were only counting the confirmed kills. There's one eating the face of another one underneath a bread bin. There is one, there's a rat eating the face of another rat under the bread bin. If you stand to the left of me, you'll see it. you probably better even shoot it. There's loads in that corner, look, Dwayne. Well, certainly by now, the body count had risen to well in excess of 50 rats. We were quite confident we would probably get to the 100, but we'd need to wait it out as the action did start to slow down a little bit until I found a fairly productive place the other side of the barn. Oi, you beauty! again the little ditty one yeah 
definitely got him now. I need him in that trough. This was the place in question, but as you can see with all of these bars and moving targets, it required precision and timing. Not something that comes overly easy to myself at times. <laughs> I wasn't looking at his nuts. I think it's easy to tell, and even after the amount of years myself and Dwayne have been shooting for, we still get rather excited about a bit of ratting. I want them all close together, don't I? Definitely down there, he's just showing me his ass. <laughs> Giving us a wave. Oh, beauty. Got it. Three close together, look. Yeah, nice little backstop there we had there, weren't there? Yeah, that tin. Look at the, look at the size of that. Look. Look. I'm gonna go in here. It's a bit squadding in here, but oh drop it glove. I'm gonna go in there into the squaddy. I'll let you go because I've got holes in the wellies. Have you? Holes in his wellies. If there is ever an excuse. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven visible plus. And there's that one in there, look. Yeah. All down here. There's some home dingers down here. This is probably the biggest one yet, I reckon. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that's a monster there. Oh yeah, bloody hell. Teeth. I think oh. that's the one that needed three shots, you know, but considering the size of it, look at yeah. that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Here's my size nine for a comparison. It's as big as my foot nearly. Did you nearly lose your manhood again? Every time. He's got horns. Never told me. Never told me they had horns. They vet some though. That's massive, that is. Massoof! Right over the back there, bruv. There's some more. Oh, I just missed that. That was so funny. Robin just nearly got mounted by that cow. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Look out! Just practicing. <laughs> Once again, Dwayne, my friend, <laughs> rather than help me, just videos and laughs Look like out. a deranged kid. Yes. <laughs> Dwayne had shot several in the entry to the pig pen, but by the time we got round to picking those up, most of them had been eaten by the little pigs. <laughs> Well guys, we've come to the end of yet another ratting session, and a very productive session it has been. I actually can't quite believe how many we've had this evening. I think on the clicker we just managed to tick the 100 marker, which is great uh, news. We've managed to pick up around 70 uh, of the uh, little ratties. Um, considering myself and Dwayne had shot here just a few weeks ago, uh, and shot 70, picked 50 plus, uh, 50 plus maybe, um, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Um, as always, the kits performed flawlessly. The Alpex, brilliant. The Opro KL52 IR torch, and of course, the Hike Micro um, Condor spotter. Um, a couple of shots were taken slightly further than my zero point, and uh, with an accurate reading from the rangefinder in this, I was able to then compensate for that. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did and you want to see more just like it, please don't forget to uh, press that like and subscribe button. But for now, take care, stay safe, and as always, happy shooting.